upon you drop you will be the first to collect it welcome back good morning good afternoon good evening depending on your time and where you are listening to us from uh it don't shell uh katakata donde for peter olo wale mba asa mazi simon eba we call him <laughs> Uh, the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile will always call him Oluwale Mba. <laughs> and where he got that name, Oluwale, is where I don't even understand. <laughs> Make we go down to that information where we say it happened for Enugu now. It's a communal war. Government invade Enugu communities as residents demand government intervention. According to the source, the warmongers have gone to the boundary with the Umu Ode community more than six times now shooting sporadically for more than one hour on each occasion. There is palpable tension in Oruku and its neighboring communities as warmongers in Oruku are aligning for another communal war with the Umu Ode community in Kano East local government area of Enugu State. So reporters reported that the warmongers in Oruku community had looted and burned down all the houses of the community members that supported the Enugu state government in bringing a peace deal that saw the partitioning of the community on 730% ratio in favor of Oruku. Apart from the destruction of properties, the warmongers have also killed several leaders of the community who supported the peace deal including their traditional ruler late Igwe Chidiabere Emmanuel Mba, president general of the community and head of the community vigilantes. Source from the community told Sahara reporters on Wednesday that the Oruku community had bought and delivered 20 AK-47 rifles in addition to a few ones including machine gun they used in previous wars which they had refused to hand over to the police after a peace deal in 2017. According to source, the warmongers had gone to the boundary with the Umu Ode community more than six times now, shooting sporadically for more than an hour on each occasion. One of the victims of the destruction in the community whose duplex was burnt down in December 2022, Mr. Agozi Ani, lamented that the warmongers and vowed those who supported the government's peace deal that had not been killed would not return to the community. Our crime was supporting former governor Ifani Uguani peace deal in on Oruku Umu Ode crisis and he stated, lamenting that the Enugu state government just left us to our peril. He said, we came out and did all we could to restore peace in the area based on the immediate past governor's promise to restore peace. We supported him and today we are bearing the bond of the whole thing. They have destroyed our homes, knocked down our houses, sold the road as scrap and they said that we can never come back to that community again. As we speak, they are currently ruling with heavily armed men. They have sometime, something like 20 AK-47 rifles. They are roaming freely in the village. They agonized and lamented that in all the destruction and killing visited on them, the government of Enugu state had done practically nothing to save them. The disappointing thing is that those arrested for these assaults and murder were released by the same former Governor Uguanyi and his Attorney General. We felt so disappointed and let down by the government that we worked for. All this that we are suffering was just because we supported him. Meanwhile, efforts by Sahara reporters to speak with Enugu State Police Command were not successful as the command spokesperson DSP Daniel Ndukwe could not be reached. His phone was said not reachable and had yet to respond to the text message inquiry sent to him. Uh, my people, I don't see as it happened. Uh, when I they like saying, whenever I'm reading this kind of news report, uh, I had no colobia, I 
aya de no kolobia aya kwena aya de njo aya umu igbo kwena aya de njo aya onwe lu no fu obodo otu nwa nyija lo no ade amelo me na abo tulu ni me ojale no mu nwa no wa mu ezuma obalo fu oka fu oba fu okeke amelo me na abo aya we dazia okeke no ka fu wele banya me okeke no ka fu wele je baya aya we gbo ka fu gbo okeke aya di nu kolobia aya kwena aya di njo aya my people uh, still remember that this is your best channel where you need to be and don't touch the dial uh, i always like to sing this kind of song uh, to bring home you know what i'm trying to tell you and i know that you are enjoying this channel uh, because war aya is not good uh, it happened some time ago in an Agu in aguleri and umuleri it's also happening in izu izi and izulo and i believe that the people who live within this environment will tell you what war has actually caused for them uh, because some of them uh, uh, their children has turned to something else because uh, because of the experience of war some of them are stunned to Androba, some of them are stunned to Tokri, and um, it has delayed development in that uh, area of the place. These are the kind of things that um, uh, Peter and Ba are supposed to be putting into consideration and not to be looking into things that concern the indigenous people of Biafra and all those things. These are the kind of things that he needs to be fighting for. And um, it's so appalling that um, these leaders we live what they are supposed to be fighting for and you see them fighting for something different you see them fighting people who are just there looking for a way to better their obodo looking for a way to uh, 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 you know looking for a way to alleviate the, the, the people's suffering and the, the government of Enugu state should look into this matter because uh, for village people to be parading themselves with AK-47 uh, where are they getting that AK-47 from? Uh, it means somehow that uh, some government cabals are behind what they are doing. Uh, look at the one that is happening in Imo State, not actually a war, but it is a, a place where uh, the governor, the current governor has decided to sell uh, the, 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 the Imo State Zoo uh, because the land is worth billions of Naira. And he decided that the place will be sold. And... Um, he decided that uh, he's going to relieve that place of being a zoo, a, a zoo that has been there. Even in the history of Nigeria, you will, if you read the history of Nigeria, uh, you will know that that zoo has been there up until now. Now, why will it be this present government that is going to change that history? And if that zoo is removed from that place, it will change the whole history of Nigeria. What? Uh, Imo state has been known for uh, because if you check uh, the history of Nigeria, you know that uh, it is stressed that even in academic curriculum you will find it in some of the books that Imo, uh, Imo state have a zoo and people do come for for you know for for what is called excursion there i don't know why uh, some of these politicians uh, they have failed to understand what uh, government is all about or what governorship is all about or what leadership is actually all about you know leaving leadership to be doing what they are not supposed to do is what i don't even understand uh, but meanwhile we'll still keep going uh, because um these politicians has decided to turn our obodo to what we don't know uh, but we believe that one day revolution will come uh, because as na asokatakwane zanya uh, that's the adage of our people. 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 Meanwhile, I go to wind down the curtain here. And if not the first time, we'll be seeing the Caribou Chook. Uh, kindly go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Like, comment, share. And also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop, you'll be the first to collect. Thank you for listening. God bless you.